All right, so before we get started on the programming side of the street for Arduino, I wanted to kind of go over where to shop, okay? That was one of the things that when I first started out, uh, you, you know, you buy one of these LEDs, okay? And then you get started with Arduino. So you can get away with just buying an Arduino unit and getting one of these LEDs, and you should be good for about three days, maybe a day at best. And after that, you're going to want to get all kinds of goofy stuff to hook up to it. So that's that's what I'm covering right now is basically what goofy stuff should you start out with. There are three major places, in my opinion, that are good to shop for Arduino. Well, actually four now that Radio Shack came into play. And I'll, I'll give the goods and bads. Okay, so Radio Shack, great place. You know, you walk in, but really, Radio Shack is not what it used to be. When I was a kid, I remember Radio Shack being the most amazing place on the face of the earth. And <laughs> really, at the time, I didn't understand half the stuff there. But, uh, you know, they, they worked with radios, and now, basically, you're fighting off track phone users. And, oh, man, let me tell you some track phone user stories. <laughs> but... I shouldn't really because, you know, I'm just putting that population out there as uh, a big, huge, fat target. Just go into Radio Shack and you'll go into the back. You'll pull out these drawers. The drawers contain magical components. Uh, nobody will help you because as soon as you pull that drawer out, every Radio Shack employee will run to the ends of the earth making sure that they don't or can't explain what a capacitor is or a resistor. And they'll go help the track phone users, and usually they sign up for a package that takes like three freaking hours, and you'll you'll love that. You'll get used to it. Just uh, be wary if you're getting into this hobby, that's coming. <laughs> so find your local Radio Shack. Now the other th three places that I love to shop is Adafruit. Okay, Adafruit is probably my number one starting choice. You know, within a few days of uh, wanting to buy some new stuff, you'll you'll probably want to go here. They're easy to deal with. Uh, they ship very quickly, and the as far as the site is concerned, they're very easy to navigate for new people. Uh, go to the boards and pack section. When I first started out, I I went and got this beginning budget pack. Okay. It contains wires, contains little feet, uh, a nice little breadboard, some resistors, and LEDs. So this will save you a couple trips to Radio Shack right here. No doubt about it, well worth the $49. If I could go back in time, I would probably get um, the next one up, which is the starter pack. Because it has the wall wart, a uh, common regulated power source that plugs in the wall. It has the cable and it has this battery pack okay so that's a nice little feature if you went this route you should also get one more thing that's not included in here well actually two things that is not included notice this one does not have the breadboard and it doesn't have a thing called a tiny breadboard so here are two other things you should add to the list So half size breadboard, ta-da. Now the difference between normal breadboards or tiny breadboards and this one, this one has a rail that you can power up, very useful. So you need one of these right off the bat. The other thing that's very nice to have is a tiny breadboard. And this fits on top of the shield for prototyping. So one of the shields that comes in that pack, this one right here, is the prototyping shield. It's also located here in the shield section and it looks like this. So basically it adds a little bit more. It has a couple switches that you can already add to your experiments. It has an area for the tiny breadboard, 
as shown in picture, and this makes it a little easier to travel with. Now, not saying that SparkFun isn't cool. SparkFun is a freaking amazing place. In fact, this is the level I'm at right now, but I, I still go back because there's things that one carries and not the other. Let's say if you really want to get into it, the Cerebrus cable is amazing. So that's a three-headed cable. And when you're dealing with microcontrollers, you're going to need <laughs> all kinds of goofy attachments. For so this saves you a trip uh, to Radio Shack. Okay, And the last place is called Seed Studio. Now, when you're looking for hacking and cracking uh, things that are just ungodly, let's say you want to send RF frequency to one of your home-based devices, turn it on and off. If you wanted to get into the really, really, really nerdy stuff, this place has some stuff that the other two definitely do not carry. Okay, The warning about this is it takes four freaking ever to get the said products from Seed Studio. Well worth the wait, just be wary, it takes a while. So, there we go. Those are the four places to shop for Arduino that I have found. Also, to shamelessly plug my little case doohickey thing right here. Okay, so this contains the whole thing and it all folds up. And I could travel with it. There's a pin that goes in there. Right, right? If you're interested in that product, um, I do manufacture that out of my house. And uh, to find it, you go to itsy.com, E-T-S-Y dot com, and type in Nerditorium, N-E-R-D-I-T-O-R-I-U-M. And there it is. I got version 1, version 2. I'm using version 2 in the video so far. Um, neither one, you know, they're both they're both good. This one's a little smaller. Um, this one holds more stuff. So, there we go. That is all the cool places to buy and what to get when you're first starting out. And let's go on to the next video.